Morning, I'm mean, Pastor Bruce. It's a uh, day after Thanksgiving, and, and I most, well, not most, many people are out shopping. Uh, I have opted not to. Um, it's not my thing. Uh, this coming Sunday, we are going to tell the story of Zachariah and Elizabeth. And, uh, and, and it's a great story. Um, it's got some hard parts in it uh, when you understand the whole story. Uh, an older couple now at this point in their lives, and they were didn't have children. And in that culture, in that day, that had a lot of implications. There were a lot of hurt and disappointment and embarrassment and shame and just a lot of stuff that went with it. And um, not right, but nevertheless, that's what they felt and experienced. And, and yet that wasn't the end of their story. God had other plans. Um, what do you do when that's your story? H how do you, I mean, what are your options? I mean, you can fight it. Um, maybe not your best option, but there is another option, and, and it's the one that Zachariah and Elizabeth took, and it, it, it comes, there's, there's a passage of scripture that speaks to it. This is Psalm 37, verse 7. It says, be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. being still, waiting, being patient, all things that are really hard for most of us to do. We're not very good at being still in his, patient, in his presence. We're, we're not very good at being patient. We're, we're just not. But God is still on the throne. And he still has a plan. No matter where you are in that journey, in your life journey, God is still moving and doing things in your life. And sometimes it requires waiting patiently. Sometimes practicing stillness. We'll see you this Sunday, church. Bye.